who am I because I've just finished a non-fiction book. Hey guys it's Sarah Jane welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am here to bring you a review of The Five by Hallie Rubenhold. So today I am here to talk about The Five which is a non-fiction book by Hallie Rubenhold which is the untold lives of the women killed by Jack the Ripper. Now Polly, Annie, Elizabeth, Catherine and Mary Jane are all linked by one thing even though they never met. All of them were victims of Jack the Ripper. Now unfortunately these women never got the justice they deserve because their killer was never actually caught and the killer has become incredibly famous, has become infamous and that name is Jack the Ripper. But The Five is a book that is dedicated to giving those women their voices back and for the longest time the women that were the victims of Jack the Ripper were classed as prostitutes and this is something that's been like a narrative that's gone on you know for however long and these women have been called prostitutes many many times and this book is really really good at actually going through the history of these women and actually for the majority of them there is no evidence that they were prostitutes but this book also does a really good job of explaining that even if they were they're still victims and they're still human beings. And what this book does is it essentially gives back the voices to the victims of Jack the Ripper and Hallie Rubenhold is a historian so what she's done is she's gone back and she's pieced together the lives of these five women. So when it comes to reviewing non-fiction I feel like we're in a bit of weird territory because I can't really give you spoilers for non-fiction but I do appreciate that I also don't want to talk too much about the book because I feel like then I could take away the impact that you would have reading it for the first time. What I do want to do is talk about why I found this book so moving and so naturally I will be talking about a few different elements. If you would rather go into this book without knowing anything then I recommend stopping here and coming back later. If however you're interested in the book and you do want to find out a bit more about it then feel free to keep watching. Now I'm going to put it out there right from the beginning I am not a big non-fiction reader. I find non-fiction to be particularly dull most of the time because I don't really enjoy the writing style but Hallie Rubenhold has this writing style that really pulled me in actually to each of the characters and she had a writing style that was very atmospheric and the way that she described London at the time and the way that she described the places that these women would have been living it just felt very immersive and I was really really pulled in and I was really attached to all of these women which was really hard because of course I knew how they all ended up. So one of my favourite things about Hallie Rubenhold's The Five is the way that she very tactfully and very sensitively and very carefully debunks the myth that these women were all prostitutes. She's a historian so she goes through all the evidence and she really pieces together these women's lives and it becomes very apparent that not all of these women were prostitutes and she handles this in a very good way because she's very much like this rumour is wrong it's unfair to brand each of these women prostitutes when they were not, when a lot of these women were not, but also for the ones that were, or the definite one that was, like her death is still just as tragic, her life is still just as valid and she handles each woman with great sensitivity and that was something that I really really liked. This book is split into the five individual women so we start with Polly Ann Nichols and she was the first one obviously that I read she was the first victim and I felt really really connected to Polly when I was reading her because I felt very pulled into this narrative immediately the way that Hallie Rubenhold writes even though I knew this was non-fiction she writes in such an atmospheric way I found myself really caring about Polly and feeling really attached to her which of course was not good when I knew her fate already um, and then when I read Annie Annie was, Annie was probably the one that I got the most attached to I would say um, but throughout each of these women it became very very clear that society was not kind to women. It was very apparent when I was reading this book that if you fell on hard times in this time period you were kind of just left to your own devices. There was no safety net, there was no support and women had very little support if they were in like abusive marriages, if they were you know dealing with addiction, if they had alcoholism, things like that, if they had lots of deaths, lots of losses in the family, there was no support, there's no mental health support like we have now, there's no help for addictions like we have now, there's no support to stop things getting to that stage. And it became very clear that this was a society that did not support women. Essentially these women fell through the cracks and it surprised me actually that the majority, I think maybe even all of them, all of them or the majority of them were alcoholics and when you read their lives when you read what they have to deal with and also you read the way that alcohol is around them the way that it's you know in medicines and things like that it's like it just becomes very very clear that this is this is a world that is harsh and it's cruel and 
If you fall on hard times, there really is nobody there to help you get back up. What breaks my heart about this book is that if these women had had support in their lives when they needed it most, they wouldn't have been homeless and they wouldn't have suffered the fate that they did. Now my favourite part of this book was definitely the conclusion. I knew there was going to be some form of conclusion because the way the book was written was that it would jump to the next victim at the moment of like their death or the last known whereabouts of that person. So I knew that there was going to be some sort of conclusion but the conclusion itself was just so so powerful and so poignant that I'm still thinking about it and I finished it a couple of weeks ago. There were moments in the conclusion that I literally just had to stop and like read them out loud because they were just so powerful and there was a lot of comparisons to um, you know modern day society and how some things haven't changed, how the blame still lies on women as the victims rather than you know actually blaming the killer as always you know the killer murdered these women but what were these women doing to deserve that and that's still a narrative that is very very prevalent in today's society and the conclusion of this book is just so <laughs> so on point that it just brought the book like completely together for me and it made it a five star read. It does feel a little bit weird to me to kind of you know rate a non-fiction book in a similar way to how I would rate a fiction book but the way this book was written you still can take into account writing style you can still take into account pacing and things like that and Hallie Rubenhold had such a powerful voice throughout this book that I would 100% read other books by her. If you're considering reading this book, even if you're someone who's like, I don't typically read nonfiction, I 100% recommend that you pick this book up because I am not a nonfiction person and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye! <laughs>